Thank you for staying with us. And now we review the five most respected entities in Sri Lanka. That's according to LMD's annual survey as we outlined in our top story this week. John Keel's holdings once again spearheads LMD's most respected listing, outstripping the nearest contender by a clear margin. The group's financial performance in 2010-11 tells it like it is. A consolidated revenue increase of 26% to over 60 billion rupees and a rise in profit after tax by 63% to in excess of 9 billion rupees. The group's transportation arm has been the main contributor to its after tax profits, with port services, bunkering, and airlines improving significantly throughout 2010 11. What's more, John Kill's shareholders were assured of a windfall with the group reporting an earnings per share that's 54% up on the prior year. JKH's handsome dividend payout in 2010 explains why its stock remains the darling of investors and is worth its weight in gold. Commercial Bank moves up one spot in the rankings to finish in second place. The bank crossed the milestone of 5 billion rupees in profit after tax to end 2010 with a bottom line of 5.5 billion rupees which is some 28% higher than in 2009. ComBank has been adjudged Sri Lanka's Bank of the Year seven times by the Banker magazine, Best Bank in Sri Lanka for 13 consecutive years by Global Finance and Best Bank in Sri Lanka on two occasions by Finance Asia. Although the country's largest mobile network dialogue exata slips down one place to number three in this year's most respected rankings, it could take comfort from its stellar ratings in the subsections where it was top of the pops for innovation, dynamism, CSR and vision. Dialogue became the first BOI entity to reach the FDI milestone of 1 billion US dollars and the first listed company to see its market capitalization surpass the same amount. Not content to rest there, Dialogue entered into an agreement with the BOI to invest a further 150 million US dollars to advance and expand ICT infrastructure. Small wonder then that its performance through 2010 was underpinned by a healthy momentum in revenue streams to over 41 billion rupees, up 14% on 2009. Unilever holds on to fourth spot in the most respected pecking order, sustaining its position in the previous year. The marketer and largest manufacturer of some of Sri Lanka's leading FMCG brands, Unilever's product portfolio includes 12 of Sri Lanka's top 100 brands, which were rated in Brand Finance's Top 100 Brand Index and published in Media Services Brands Annual in April this year. The multinational 70-year manufacturing presence in Sri Lanka was strengthened in late 2010, when its new green manufacturing facility became functional. The 33 million US dollar investment project approved by the BOI is expected to enhance efficiency and serve as a regional warehousing hub. Unilever has achieved seven consecutive years of double digit growth and maintained its overall market dominance, commanding respect of its management profile, quality consciousness and innovation. It assumes number one status among the multinationals operating in this country yet again. Catapulted into fifth spot from a distant 15th last year, Hema's Holdings makes a dramatic entry into the top five in the most respected ranking this year. It is the only new entrant in the elite top five from 2010. Having committed substantial investments and resources into hospitals, hotels and the power sector, the group achieved its best ever result in the financial year ended 31st March 2011. A net profit attributable to equity holders of 1.2 billion rupees reflects an increase of 34% over the previous year. Boosted by its hotels business, Hema's posted a 33% hike in revenues and a 106% uplift in profits for the year under review. We do hope you enjoyed our show. Catch us again next week at the same time from the Benchmark team. Goodbye and have a great week ahead.